Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, we're going to look at dictation, also known as voice typing, in Windows 11. This is a great tool to use when you want to transfer your speech to text in just about any application in Windows. Let me show you. Okay, so here I am on the desktop, and first let's go ahead and pull up Microsoft Word to demonstrate how to use dictation or voice typing. So on your keyboard, you're going to press the Windows key and then H. This will bring up the microphone toolbar down here at the bottom. And you'll notice it's already listening to me and it is translating my speech to text. I can go ahead and click on the microphone again to stop the voice dictation. I'm going to go ahead and clear this text. And we're going to start dictating to make our document. How to use voice typing in Windows 11. And then I'll go ahead and return there. That's going to be my title. And we'll go ahead and record again. To begin using voice typing, first hold down the Windows key and the H key to bring up the microphone, period. Now you'll notice in here, you can also go into settings and you can turn on auto punctuation. Notice I had to say period in order for the computer to translate that and actually type a period for me. Well, if you turn on auto punctuation, then that can be done for you. Then you have the voice typing launcher. Uh, and this says that the voice typing launcher lets you quickly access voice typing when you're in a text box. So for example, if you're filling out a form on a web page, then you'll be able to use the voice to text feature within that form. All right, so this, is, this was in Microsoft Word. Now let's jump over to PowerPoint. You can also use it here in PowerPoint. Again, I'm going to hold Windows and H. How to use voice typing in Windows 11. Of course, it added a question mark. We might have to go back in and fix things. May not be perfect. Keep in mind too that over time, voice typing is going to learn your voice and how you speak and it will improve the speech to text accuracy. Okay, so that's PowerPoint. Now, what if we're online? Let's go to the browser and let's say we're composing an email message. We can go ahead and click into our the message of our body in our email. Again, I'll hold down Windows and H. Hello, John. It was great talking with you the other day. I look forward to speaking with you again, and I look forward to sharing about dictation in Windows 11. And again here, you might have to go in and make some minor adjustments. Your returns, as you notice, you'll need to make some returns manually there as you dictate. We can also do this in Microsoft Teams chat. So let's say I started a new chat conversation with someone and I want to utilize dictation. Again, I'm going to go ahead and press the Windows key and the H key and begin speaking. Hello, John. I hope you're doing well. Do you have a few minutes to take a phone call? I would love to share with you dictation in Windows 11. So that's how you use dictation in Windows 11. And again, you can use this just about anywhere that text input can be received on your computer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you on the next one.